Hey, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas with SD Rover. I'm out today in Anza Borrego Park exploring a couple canyons I've not been through before. Lots of fun. It's a really interesting landscape out here. Very uh, moonish, I would say. So today I just wanted to do a very quick uh, review on my Compomotive Motorsports uh, wheels that I purchased. When I bought this LR4 from the Land Rover dealer, I was a certified used LR4, 20, 2011 is the year. And um, the LR4s are real, really when Land Rover started putting a lot of performance into their vehicles because the LR4 and the Sport are essentially the same. And one of the challenges with the LR4 is because of the brakes and calipers and everything, is a bit of a problem. Um, the wheels that came with the LR4 were actually 20 inch. I was up in Oregon on one, one of the first trips I took and actually came around a corner and hit um, a two or three foot um, crack in the road and fractured one of the wheels. Was stuck up in Portland for quite a while and uh, long story short found out that they were not actually even Land Rover OEM wheels. They were knockoffs. And so I was able to find some 19-inch uh, wheels uh, on Craigslist up there and put those on. And I ran those for quite some time. They were a better compromise from the 20-inch wheels, but they still didn't give me much of a profile on the tires. So I was very reticent to lower the pressure on those too much uh, to crack the rims. In fact, on the... Um, in fact, on the rims that I had, the 19 inch, I actually cracked one of those um, on a rock or something. There's not a lot of choices on the LR4s and the sports for a smaller than a, a 19. So one of them is Compomotive Motorsports, and I actually bought these through Lucky 8. Uh, they import them from England, and I really suggest that you buy them directly from them because they ship over a container at a time. If you try to order them from England, you're going to end up paying a lot of extra uh, duty and, and, and freight and everything else. Those guys were really great to deal with. Came on time, uh, delivered perfect shape and everything. So very happy with them. So these are 18 inch. Um, they are really, so far, uh, performing really well. Can air down uh, uh, to a lower PSI than I would with the, uh, with the stock. And um, they've stayed fairly clean. Um, one of the things I talked to about a guy that put the Defender, the new Defender uh, steel wheels on his LR4 is they tend to stick out quite a bit. And he's really mashed or he's really dinged them up on rocks and trails and things like that uh, because of the way that they sit out. Um, these fit fine, no problem, no need for an offset or anything like that. They just go on and um, this, I've had these for about, um, probably about eight months or so. So this is kind of a first impressions video, but so far I couldn't uh, recommend them more. Couldn't recommend Lucky 8 more. Great guys, called them a bunch of times. Actually the guy that I bought the um, wheels from, he has an LR4 too, and he has them on his uh, his rig. I was concerned that they were going to be strong enough, and um, so far they proved uh, proved to be strong enough for what I do. Now with the Mickey Thompsons, uh, I don't normally air down much lower than around 20 pounds. Uh, with the profile of these tires and with these sidewalls and everything, I could probably go less than that. So thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, would you can please consider liking it or subscribing. If you see me outdoors, be sure and stop and say hi. And remember, get outside.